There are two drawing spaces in each AutoCAD file. They're called Model Space and Paper Space. Paper Space was introduced to us way back in AutoCAD Release 11. AutoCAD 2015, which is what I'm using here as an example, is Release 29 of AutoCAD. So you can see the Paper Space has been around a lot longer than it hasn't. So even though Paper Space has been around since around 1990 or so, it still causes trouble for many users today. Understanding the purposes of each drawing space is a fundamental need when creating drawings in AutoCAD. I want to keep it simple though. Model space is where your drawing objects go, and that's where you're going to do all of your lines, your circles, etc. Paper space is where your paper objects go. If you were to create a drawing with pencil and paper, you would start with a drawing border and a title block and then put your drawing inside it. That's the way it was done. AutoCAD works in reverse. You create your drawing objects first, or your model, that's what it is. And you do that in model space. Then when you're ready to make a drawing, you switch to paper space and add your drawing border and title block later on. Now paper space is also where you want to put your annotation, especially if you're going to create multiple sheets in one file. Now for every AutoCAD file, there can only be one model space tab, and it shows up by default but you can have as many paper space tabs in your file as you need to or want. It's a good idea to limit them though. If you have to scroll through the paper space tabs to see them all, then you probably have too many. When you approach drawing in AutoCAD, think of your line work as data in a database. So I could have something as simple as a rectangle. This is a model. It's just a 2D object, but it's a model. And this is my data. Now when I want to present it to people, I go to paper space and I go to my layout tabs as they're often called. Here is where I make my drawing. I click inside a viewport and I can zoom in or out and I can show my model however I want to relative to the rest of my paper. That's the beauty of paper space. Here you want to annotate it, put in dimensions, notes, leaders, your title block, etc. Now one of the biggest benefits to annotating in paper space is that you can create multiple viewports in one drawing. So if I select this viewport, I can edit it and change it, and I can also copy it you know, or just make a new one. And here I can show it really big and I can annotate it all I want. Here I can zoom out, show it relative to anything else that I would like, etc and I can annotate it different ways all in the same time. But here, if I annotate something, it's going to show up in all of my views. So you can kind of see it here. I need to really zoom in to see it a little bit better, but you kind of get the idea. I'm stuck with it. If I you know, select it, you can see it shows up in each viewport. And so if I right click and hit erase, it erases that dimension everywhere. So I have to make sure I manage that properly. But if I dimension my objects here in paper space, I can put the same dimension on here, but I can show it in different ways and I don't have to deal with it everywhere. We're going to go into a lot of detail in paper space and model space later on, but just keep in mind and just keep it short and simple. Your drawing goes into model space, your notes and text and title blocks go into paper space.